there was a peaceful, almost festive atmosphere in the unofficial referendum called by the Venezuelan opposition this Sunday. Until this happened. A gang of motorcyclists opened fire on voters in a traditionally pro-government neighbourhood. At least one person died, hundreds fled. It was a snapshot of the tensions in a divided country. Tensions that have only increased since President Nicolas Maduro announced plans to overhaul the constitution. The opposition and international observers worry that he's trying to rewrite the rules to do away with Venezuela's already faltering democracy. They ask people to vote against the overhaul. Today, Venezuela is saying to the government, we are going down the wrong road. The course has to be corrected in a radical way. Moderators announced that more than 7 million people took part, almost all voting against changes to the constitution without the people being consulted first. Polls opened not just in Venezuela, but also in 75 countries around the world for the Venezuelan diaspora, according to the opposition. Carolina voted in Colombia, where she moved when she couldn't get treatment for her daughter's illness back home. For her and many others, this vote was about more than just the constitution in a country that's struggling with shortages and crime. I want change, a change of government, medicine, food, liberty for my children to go to school without fear of criminals or the police. I want them to grow up free. But for all the hope, it's far from certain this will count for anything. This unofficial referendum means both everything in the sense that it's hugely symbolic that so many people have come out to vote against changes in the constitution and at the same time nothing in the sense that the results won't be independently verified or recognised by the government. The government is going ahead with their plans to pick the assembly which will rewrite the constitution with elections in two weeks even using Sunday to mobilize its own supporters in a practice for that vote. President Maduro says it's the only way to solve Venezuela's economic crisis and unite a divided country. There are plenty who don't believe him. This was the moment to make their voices heard. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Cucuta, Colombia.